Hello everyone, I'm So Mungry, and I'd like to welcome you back to the Gungeon. In this video, I'm going to explain how you can get to the resourceful rat boss fight. There is a lot of steps to this, so I'm going to try to be as specific as possible. So, let's jump right into it. Step 1 and Step 2 can be either or. So you can do these in whichever order you want for Step 1 and Step 2. So, number 1, you need the Nod Key. This is found on floor number two in the shop. It does cost $1,000, but this can be given over the course of multiple runs. And after you purchase it once, it will always be available for $115. Now, in order to get this to show up, you have to have the bullet that can kill the past. I'm not going to go into depth on how you get that, but that is the thing that you need to build with the Prime Primer, the Gunpowder, the lead, and the shell case. Now this key can also be stolen, and if it's stolen before it is purchased for the first time, it will return the next run with the price before it was stolen. So I recommend just committing a couple runs to investing in the key. If you're having a hard time getting the money, I recommend going through the sewers a couple times, and you should be able to get $1,000 in no time. So once you buy that key from the shopkeeper, that is step number one. Now you do have to buy it every single time you want to try to access the rat's lair. And it is $115 each time you go on a run. So keep that in mind, you will need more money. Unlocking it is not good enough. You can steal it though if you have an item to steal it with. Number two, you need to get the rat's infuriating notes. There are six of them. Now these are found randomly in any type of chest. Also, one will appear from a Mimic. Now, some notes won't appear until you do certain things. So, here's a list of the things that you need to do. You need to beat the first floor, get something stolen by the Wrath. You need to enter into the sewers. You need to obtain a Master Round. You need to kill that new Bomb Boss. And you need to have killed the High Dragon, which is the final boss, or the fifth floor boss. And then after that, you'll be able to obtain all the notes through chess. Now you don't necessarily need these notes to find the rat, although it's going to be way more difficult and it's going to be super frustrating. So I recommend not even attempting the rat until you get each of these notes. And just note that getting these notes will probably take you a while because it just comes out of a random chest. So don't get frustrated, just do a couple runs and you'll get the notes over time. Alright, so this is where it gets kind of confusing. So after you have paid the $1,000 for the key and you can unlock it on the second floor for $115 and you have all six of the notes, you are in good shape to go to the rat's lair. So start with a fresh run and I recommend going through the sewer if you can. If not, you should be able to accumulate enough money if you don't buy anything from the shop on the first floor or the second floor. You should still have enough to buy that key for $115, but you might not have enough items or weapons to fight the rat. So I do recommend going through the sewer. You can even go through the next secret zone with the, the king. I can't remember his name right now, but you unlock that through the sewer with the armor piece. So you could do that if you want to have even more money. So I would pick your best character, start out, save up the money as you go through, hope you get lucky because you're going to need a little luck with this as well for money and also items. You, you, hopefully the bosses are going to give you some good items and stuff like that. And I do recommend either the pilot or the bullet simply because you will have the lock pick so you can lock pick some chests along the way and hope you get a good weapon or a good item. And then if you start with the bullet, you got the sword. And the sword is, in my opinion, the best starting weapon because you can hit bullets away and it also does a fair amount of damage as long as you have full health. So once you get to the second floor, buy the key, and then go to the third floor. Now the third floor is the most important floor. Here you need to have two blanks, or at least one armor and one blank. So make sure you have that. Also make sure you have that Nod key from the second floor. And then all you need to do is keep your eyes peeled for a room on the third floor with a bunch of rats running around. Now in this room, there will be a spot that you'll notice your character will be kicking up more dust than usual. So just walk around on that area and it will unveil a secret hatch. And then open that hatch with a key. I should have mentioned before that you do need one key 
or you can try to lock pick it as well. But either way, you have to open that hatch. So once you're ready, open that hatch, fall down, and then go all the way to the right on the minecart. Once you're at the end, you can either blank the passage open, or if you have armor, you can roll off the minecart and it will blank for you. And then once you walk up the path more, you need to blank again. Here you will find another hatch, but this time you put the Nod key in and then you fall down to the rat's lair. This is a maze. That is why I do not recommend going down there without these infuriating notes from the rat. Now, this part can be a little confusing, but fortunately, once you learn the route you have to go, it does not change, or at least it has not for me, and I've went down here probably like six or seven times already. So for this next part, I recommend looking at the Ammonomicon before you fall down this next hole, because once you fall down the hole, you will be on a timer. And it won't show you the timer, but if you take too long or take the wrong path, it will just kick you out of the maze. So make sure you know where you're going ahead of time. So open up your Ammonomicon, and then you go down to the infuriating notes on the bottom, and you will notice that there's little hunks of cheese on the notes, and they will point in different directions. And the first note will have one direction, the second note will have the next direction, the third note will have the third direction, and so forth. So I recommend writing down on a piece of paper which directions you have to go. So in my case, I have to go down, right, down, left, left, and down. So once you fall in this other hole here, you start that pattern. And this part can be kind of tough. It's got harder enemies, but use your best weapons. Don't save anything. Because once you get to the end of this maze, you get ammo and you get health. So I would just use your best weapons right away. Also, you can do this without the notes, but the chances of you guessing the right direction is very slim. So I just recommend getting the notes first. So after you run through the maze and collect all your ammo and stuff, all you have to do is walk up and you will be greeted with the resourceful rat boss fight. And I'm going to briefly talk about this fight as well since we're here. This fight can be really challenging, so I do recommend having a lot of guns and a good active item. The first part takes a little bit to learn. He's got some really crazy attacks he can do and he shoots them very fast, so you got to be on your toes. In my opinion, his hardest attack is when he shows the laser grid and then you have to go in between the lasers to avoid getting hit. So just focus on your character and try to blast him. And then the next phase, he'll be in a giant mech suit. And hopefully you'll have some blanks left for this part, because this part can get pretty challenging. But if you have good guns and you're able to avoid some of the chaos for a little while, you might be able to best him here. Now the third part is really, really hard. It is based off the punch-out game. And the better you do here, the more keys you will get from him to unlock the rewards after this fight. This fight is incredibly difficult in my opinion. There's three different phases, so you really have to practice up. There's a bunch of different attacks he can throw at you. I know when he does the spin attack, you cannot duck that, you must block that. So that is my one tip for you. Also, if you want to get all the keys, you have to end each round with a three star super punch. So that's pretty hard in itself. In order to get the super punches, you have to punch the rat right when he flashes yellow. That will give you one super punch. And you can see how many super punches you have by looking up top on your health bar. It'll be a white icon that looks sort of like two swords crossing with a third one behind it. So you need three of those and you need to knock them out in round one, two, and three with a three star super punch in order to get all the keys. And in my opinion, this part is probably the hardest part in the entire game because this rat is really good at punch out. But if you do manage to beat him in all three rounds, the rat will give a speech at the end and you can kick around his dead body, which is pretty interesting. And then you can also open up all the chests down below, which would include a bunch of different weapons from the rat. And if you collect them all, you turn into the rat, which is pretty cool. And if you blank in that room, it will show a secret passage where you can unlock and get a serpent. I'm not exactly sure what the serpent does. I think you have to feed it different items for it to follow you. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If it helped you out, make sure and leave a thumbs up. I would appreciate that. And let me know in the comments if you beat the rat. I'm really curious to see who beat him out there. And I think this fight is very hard. It's comparable to the Lich, maybe even harder than the Lich but at least you don't die 
if you don't beat him in the punch out. You still get the rewards and you can still continue on with your run if you want to, which is cool. And that's pretty much it. So I'll let you guys go. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Good luck and have a great day.